what it looked like and uh, you can just scratch the idea if you don't like it. For the flap, um, chain 25 and then make an extra 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. And then on the 4th chain from the hook, make a 1 double crochet. And then do 1 double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so you should have 12 rows and you can add more if you want. And then after that, we're now going to the the ruffles around this flap. So now we're going to add ruffles around. So what you should do is or what you can do is just chain 3. And this will count as one double crochet, and then you're gonna add two more double crochets in the same stitch. All right. Now, if you st uh, if you will start on this side, it's best to add. Okay, so. In the middle of this uh, double crochet on this side, which was it? Okay, so you're going to uh, turn this side and then do three double crochets in the middle of each double crochet. Okay, so find a spot here, make sure you're not going around, make sure you're going to put it in the double crochet so right there you're gonna add three double crochets okay all right and then we're gonna add one double crochet on this spot. Same thing, we're gonna add three double crochets. Okay. Then another one. Alright, so once we have it, okay, we will just continue. So in the next one, we can start putting on the top, right here. Okay, but first we have to know where exactly did we first put the first three double crochets. Okay, and then this part here is the one double crochet. So remember, we're gonna put three double crochets in between, okay, those double crochets. So we add three, and then we're gonna find a spot again for the next space or next best spot 
of where to put the three double crochets. So yes. Here. So now you're getting the ruffle effect, but you won't be able to see a better view unless you add a few more rows, okay? But in this row, for every um, stitch that we're going to do, we will always put three double crochets. So this one is part, this one is one double crochet. So in the middle of every double crochet on the sides, we're gonna do three double crochets. Okay. It's best that you're going to add three double crochets in between double crochets because if you put it around around this, you're going to create a gap, okay? I know there's gap too, but it's not gonna be as big, okay? But it's up to you. You can always just put it around if you want to. And then we're gonna do another three double crochets here on this spot. Yeah. Yeah. So see, for every start of the double crochet, you add one and uh, one group of three double crochets in the middle and then the next one and then keep on doing that until you get to the to the last one, okay? So once you have reached the last uh, double crochet there, which is also the starting chain, maybe chain two, so just find a spot where you could put your last three double crochet group, okay? So I will just add one group of three DCs there. And then when you turn to this side, same thing. So now, since you can see pretty much the stitches there, all you just do is add the three uh, DCs in every stitch. So, so you add three here in the first one DC that you s that uh, we have here. So you add three double crochets here. So this is how it looks like so far. So when you do the sides here, and then. It's effortless when you get to here because in every stitch here, you'll just add three. And now that you have gone to the, the other side, so you will just pretty much do the same thing. You just start up the side of the first uh, double crochet. So in between that, you add three and then in the middle, add three DC until you get to the other side. Alright, see? There's only a little gap because we did the double crochets in between those double crochets on the side. So this is how it looks like after adding three double crochets in every stitch around. Yeah, so you can see it's a little bit ruffled now. So the next part would be uh, easier because after you close off this round, okay, just do a slip stitch on top of the uh, third chain from the hook. No, no, <laughs> on top of the beginning third chain that we did, I'm so sorry. Okay. And after that, you do three chains or chain three 
and then you will add one double crochet in every stitch all right and you will do that for four more rounds if you want to have a five if you want to make five rounds of this all right which will look exactly like this one okay so I made one two three four okay so I just made four rows of this but I used a bigger hook that's the reason why it, it looks bigger with the the one I am doing right now it's only uh, a thinner yarn and I am using a three millimeter hook okay so it's up to you if you want your ruffles to be longer just add a few more rows and that's it you'll be done in a few minutes okay and also if you want a ripple of effect you can do this uh, so I made this by using back post and front post alternately to have this kind of effect and besides if you check the Fendi bag you will see that this one is going to look uh, like the the one that you see on the picture All right. but it's up to you you can just add one double crochet in every stitch or do uh, front post and back post alternately to, to make this kind of effect All right. and I think this would look good if uh, you have a plain uh, yarn because um, yeah you will see the ripples there but if you're not putting it it's okay it will just be flat like this one okay but uh, yeah I think for this one that I'm going to make I think I will do the front post and the back post so if you're gonna ask how do we do that so let's continue after chaining three well usually I, I just chain two when I do front post and back post alright so this will count as uh, back post so now we're gonna start with the front post alright so you you go okay you put insert the hook from the back of the uh, yeah this is front post I'm so sorry <laughs> this is front post double crochet and then you insert the hook from the back around the previous double crochet and then you do one double crochet right now you yarn over make back post this time okay by inserting the hook coming from the back and then do a double crochet okay so we will just do that alternately until we get to the last round there you go so after putting five rows of front post and back post double crochets you'll get this effect if you want this kind of ruffle um, to your Fendi inspired bag um, if you're gonna use uh, a stiffer yarn chances are that it's gonna be really thick and it won't be sometimes you won't get the uh, drapey look if you want it drapey but if you are gonna use something that is softer yarn yeah probably it will um, be drapey like this one I've used 5 millimeter hook in this and it's a little bit drapey and then after you made the ruffle all you have to do is just attach it or sew the flap at the back what I did with this flap is that I chained 200 and then I have inserted a hook just like you know sewing I sew it on starting from the back going to this side yeah so you can do that or you can just sew the back 
So this is uh, how it looked. Yeah, this is what it looks like if you're just going to uh, sew it and not totally sew, but uh, you're gonna use the the tie there from here. Okay. It's also a fold, but then I just uh, after adding three uh, double crochets in a stitch, then the next few rows two two yeah after the next two more rows I have just uh, added like one double crochet in every stitch I didn't add a tie I just sewed the back and then I added some lining and then some zipper comment below if you want to have a tutorial on how to do this but I think it's just pretty much easy uh, yeah if you have a sewing machine it will make everything easier but I hand sewn the sides of the zip okay and this one that I had made before I use an automatic button which is you know traditional <laughs> yeah but I'm planning to uh, replace a magnetic button here so yeah this is just very easy to do all you, all you just you know need to make is uh, make a starting chain and then two rows of double crochets and then I put some lining as well this one this is hand sewn and then I made because I have left some yarn I made the coin purse yeah so I hope that you enjoyed this um, you know not really a tutorial <laughs> but I'm just showing you the possibilities of uh, doing different designs with this Fendi inspired bag and I hope I inspired all of you thank you so much and to my next video